they shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. On April 25th, Australia commemorates those who fought and served in war. On this day, we stop to remember those who gave their lives for our country and for our freedom. The damage of war stretches far beyond when the last bullet is shot or the last bomb is dropped. Our diggers face many and varied hardships when they return to civilian life. Many veterans do not cope due to the trauma they have lived through and an alarmingly high percentage end up living on the street. One in 200 Australians are homeless, which means every night over 100,000 people are looking for shelter. And one out of 10 homeless people aged 60 years and older are war veterans. These veterans are the forgotten, who don't receive the support they need. Many veterans suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. This disorder was first coined in the 1970s during the Vietnam War and describes the condition of persistent mental and emotional stress occurring as a result of injury or severe psychological shock. This wasn't the first time that those who returned home from war suffered from psychological trauma. Different names have described this disorder for decades. The effect of witnessing and experiencing the violence and horror of war has prolonged effects. According to the Australian Defence Force, post-traumatic stress disorder affects 8% of troops. But according to other sources, this statistic could be as high as 20%. Since joining the Afghan war in 2001, there has been a fourfold increase in post-traumatic stress disorder. Retired General John Cantwell predicted there was likely to be a great surge of mental anguish among Australian veterans. The dramatic effect of war on these soldiers can be seen through the fact that the suicide toll is three times the Australian combat losses in Afghanistan. With an increase of post-traumatic stress disorder patients, the health system has found it harder to cope. At the moment, mental health cases in the public hospital system are overloaded. The stigma surrounding post-traumatic stress disorder means that many veterans cannot continue their careers in the army. They find it difficult to find jobs back home and the assimilation back into society can be an uphill battle. Many veterans can then also turn to drugs, alcohol and violence to mask the mental struggles that occur on a daily basis, paving a path that leads to many veterans living on the streets. Next year is the centenary for Gallipoli and the government intends to spend $300 million on memorial services around the country. Could it serve our veterans in a more valuable way to see that kind of money spent on creating enduring effects for the veterans most in need? And to perhaps create a larger awareness around the struggles that they face when they get home?